J. N. Andrews, 1883. With a few words concerning the allegory in Isaiah 54 and Galatians 4, 21 to 31, this subject shall be concluded. First, the two women, Hagar and Sarah, represent not the law and the gospel, but old Jerusalem and Jerusalem above. For the mothers of the two families are not the covenants, but the Jerusalems. See verses 25 and 31. Second, the two covenants whereby God is in his worship connected with these two Jerusalems are represented by the relation which Abraham sustained to these two women. Third, the children of old Jerusalem are the natural descendants of Abraham. Fourth, those of the new Jerusalem are those who are his children by faith and obedience. John 8, 39. Fifth, the bondage of old Jerusalem was not caused by the law of God, but by sin. John 8, 32-36. Sixth, the freedom of the children of the heavenly Jerusalem is not their liberty to violate the law of God, but their freedom from sin. Romans 8, 1-7. Seventh, those who are not under the law, but under grace, have been pardoned in consequence of faith and repentance. Romans 3, 19 to 31. Eighth, finally, our airship is under the new covenant, not under the old. We have deliverance from sin through the blood of Christ, but not permission to violate the law of God. The design of the new covenant is to rescue us from the condemnation of the law and not leave us till the law of God is made a part of our very being and its righteousness fulfilled in our lives. The old Jerusalem, with its sanctuary, its ark and its priesthood, has passed away. But Jerusalem, which is above, is our mother. And in its sanctuary is found, not alone our high priest with his atoning blood, but also the ark of God, wherein is the law, which the new covenant writes in our hearts. Revelation 11, 19.